YouTube and Band Lab, man. What's going on with y'all? It's your boy Young KD, man. Back at it with another video. No cap. Hey, and before we jump into this, man, y'all go run up my new song, No Topic. It'll be pinned in the comments. But yeah, anyway, on this video, we're going to be going over a couple features that you might not have known about inside of Band Lab. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to let y'all in on is the multi filler. You want to scroll all the way over to the tone tab. Click on the last one. So basically what this is, you ever had a beat where if you turn the beat up and then you try to put your vocals on it, your audio is clipping and you still want the beat to be loud. This is where the multi filler comes in in effect. It basically just brings more bass into your beat. And then when you use this little cue, the thing that says cue right here, it gives more, it brings out the drums more like the snare and stuff. I'm going to give you an example on how it sounds with the multi filler and without it so you can get a good ear, good listening to it. Alright gang, now that y'all heard that man, y'all go fuck with that. Y'all go ahead and try out the multi filler. It bring more bass into your songs, make it a little louder. Well it makes the beat a little more hitting. Like make the beat hit a little harder without distorting. So y'all go ahead and try that out. Now let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so if you want a more chorusy vibe to your lyrics, or maybe you got a hook or a chorus that you want to stand out or sound a little different from the rest, you can scroll over here to the modulation and click on the chorus ensemble. Now, once again, I'm gonna play a song without it and with it so you can get the feel for how it sounds and also i'm gonna show you the settings that i had on the chorus ensemble 